In this video, we're going to talk about an exercise that I call beauty from ashes. And this is also an exercise that has come out of a way that I use to express and release some old hurts and patterns that were in my past. And many of the things that came out during this creation for me were things that were very old that honestly were not hurting me today, yet they were impacting some of the ways that I was making decisions in my life. The idea for this activity comes from the concept that out of the ashes, we rise up in beauty, just like a phoenix. And I want to show you, this is the piece that I actually created those years ago. And you may do this in a similar fashion. Of course, yours is going to look different. What I did first was I actually wrote down all of these things, these events of my life and different feelings that I had. I wrote them in a big permanent marker and pencil all over this wood board that I had. I love to use recycled things. So you may find that you even have things around your home that you could use for this activity. All the other things you see here, I actually had laying around my home as well. I do a lot of mixed media art and this is a fun way to use mixed media. So after I wrote all of these hurts down, what I did next was begin to envision how I wanted to create the next part of my life and set some intentions down. This particular exercise is really about employing forg forgiveness. Um, and I want to say something about forgiveness for a moment here too. Forgiveness is the idea that we are releasing ourselves from the events or the people that we feel have hurt us in our lives. And it doesn't necessarily mean that we are in agreement with those things or that we would ever choose to have those people even in our lives again. And we don't have to do forgiveness with the actual person in person if that's not accessible either. Forgiveness can simply be done in your own heart and mind, and it cuts the strings that hold you to that painful event or circumstance or even individuals. So, as you write down some of those things, you might even put over top of it in your writing, I forgive or I choose to forgive. Our past can always be turned for our good. And then that's what we're going to create over top. Something beautiful that turns our past, which is really just our story that has brought us to today, that turns that past into beauty right now and into into the future. And I'm going to read this bit that is over in the corner. I had found a poem that someone had given to me during this time of transition in my life. And I added it to this art piece and it's called, I then shall live. I then shall live as one who's been forgiven. I'll walk with joy to know that my debts are paid. I know my name is clear and I am not afraid. So greatly pardoned, I'll forgive another. The law of love, I gladly will obey. I then shall live as one who's learned compassion. I've been so loved that I'll risk loving too. I know how fear builds walls instead of bridges. I'll dare to see another's point of view. And when relationships demand commitment, then I'll be there to care and follow through. This was an intention that I laid down many years ago, and I've watched that intention continue to manifest in my life. And it's something that I choose to live by. And it's something you may not be able to see, but in the bottom here, I had hammered these letters and the name of this piece I called, this is the story of a girl. So we can create a new picture right now when we're aware of the learning that we've gotten from our past and we're able to forgive our own things that we see as our mistakes, as well as those people and circumstances that we feel have created some pain in our lives too. 
So take some time to really just use whatever speaks to you. I've got stones and coins, little Chinese coins for good luck, some beads and broken tiles, ribbons, blocks, all different mixed media elements to create that Beauty from Ashes art project.